hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel and today is the video you have all been waiting for my lush valentine's day delivery literally arrived yesterday so today's the day i'm filming this video i'm so excited about it i haven't even opened it it's still sealed I'm so excited, oh my goodness. If you guys have been watching my previous videos, you will know that I mentioned that I bought the entire Lush Valentine's Day range for 2021, and I'm so excited to go through every single product. Let's go. Where are my scissors? Here they are. I feel like I'm gonna cut my fingers. This could turn into a very different style of video. What am I doing? I feel like I should've got a bin bag. Never mind. Okay, so first thing in my box is the Mammoth receipt and we're not gonna we're not gonna not gonna look at that disgusting disgusting amount of money so my box is full oh my goodness i cannot contain myself this is so exciting where do i start oh my gosh I feel like i haven't done a lush haul in a long time this is very exciting so the first thing i can see in the box is the rose argan massage bar i am gonna put this down because it's literally melting in my fingers as i'm holding that i feel like they've changed the formula because they never used to be that melty correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like that's very very oily compared to normal ingredients wise this has argan oil rose water rose absolute and ruby cocoa liqueur and scent wise it does smell like rose argan but it's definitely got a earthy like undertone if that makes any sense there's definitely something else there it's not your straight like rose jam rose argan scent it's definitely got a more like bitter scent to it like it does smell good though but it's definitely more of like a fresh rose scent than a sweet rose scent but i do like that and it is very very oily my hands are super oily now and i have nowhere to wipe them so i am just going to wipe them in my jeans the rose argan massage bar is also eight pounds which is somewhat expensive i'm not gonna lie i feel like i will definitely get through that really really quickly because it is really melty unless my hands are like uncommonly warm right now which i don't think they are um i think i will get through that really really quickly so that one was eight pounds so i think that's the standard price for massage bars now i haven't bought one in so long but yeah i think that's roughly a standard price the next item is technically not part of the valentine's range but i couldn't help myself when i saw this on the website this is the watermelon sugar lip scrub and i was just like i don't need another lip scrub but i I've, I've just got to and i really hope it smells exactly like watermelon oh oh my god oh. do you know what i think i'm gonna say it that is my favorite lip scrub that they've ever done oh wow oh, that smells unbelievable my mouth is watering i'm salivating is that the right word salivating delicious guys anything from this collection if you like watermelon please amazing so good ingredients wise this has jehovah oil oat kernel oil maple butter and watermelon seed oil rose oil very nice oh oh my god that smells like a watermelon gel pen or like those watermelon gummies oh that just smells he honestly buy it thank you later that is delicious watermelon sugar is also six pound fifty i remember when the lip scrubs used to be five pounds that was back in the good old days when lush was way less expensive but I would highly recommend it, honestly. It's just amazing, amazing. The next item is a bath bomb. This is the Love Me Do bath bomb, which is in one of those muslin cloths. This smells familiar. This is gonna annoy me now. I hate it when Lush do that and they reuse scents, but you almost can't remember what the scent is. It's like relaxing, sweet, floral. Let me just look at the ingredients a sec because that just smells so familiar. It has lavender oil, ylang ylang oil, rose absolute and dried rose petals. It's got that sort of rose bombshell mixed with like twilight vibes. I don't know. That smells heavenly though. That smells so so good. But when you use this one, you don't take it out of the muslin cloth. You literally take this off, pop it in whole and it catches all of the little petals and stuff. Because I don't know about you but like with big blue i hate having all the bits of seaweed around me it just really freaks me out so this one is 6.95 so it is a bit more on the pricey side in my opinion but i think it is a really nice gift especially for valentine's day birthdays easter a random tuesday oh that's heavenly i love that so much oh what is next i'm trying to do this without getting all of these things all over my bed because 
I do not want to be cleaning that up after this video. Do you know what I mean, guys? The next item, I actually have got a whole bottle of it in my cupboard, but I did just buy a new one just to see if the scent had changed, the texture had changed, or anything like that, and that is the Prince Charming shower gel. For a 120 gram bottle it is £7 so it is quite expensive on the grand scheme of things when you compare it to other shower gels but I did just have to buy one just to test out for you guys just to see if it's changed in scent. It hasn't, it's exactly the same. Oh that's amazing. Oh, it's so good. Yummy. One thing I have noticed is this is the shower gel and I'm pretty sure last year it was a shower cream or the, might have been the year before, I can't quite remember, but I do remember this being a shower cream, so. Ingredients wise, this has vanilla pudding infusion, geranium oil, grapefruit oil, and pomegranate juice, but to me, it smells like, I can't even describe it actually. It's such a distinctive scent. Oh, it's amazing, honestly. If you like sweet, fruity fragrances, 10 out of 10 delicious. Next up we have an old classic and that is Unicorn Horn. Now I do believe this is an all year round product but they did put it in with the Valentine's range so I had to get myself one obviously. Oh it smells the same. Oh it's so good honestly how can you not want that? Like that is the most beautiful bubble bar I think I've ever seen and it smells delish. Unicorn Horn is £4.50 which I think is a somewhat reasonable price for it. I could probably get about two to three good baths out of this, especially if you cut it with a knife or something, you could definitely get some good bubbles out of that. Oh, scent wise it's just amazing. Mm. Although, it does smell a bit different actually, like a bit more earthy, I don't know, maybe it was contaminated with the massage bar. Ingredients wise, this has lavender, ylang ylang and neroli, so it's very much like a twilight mixed with a frozen bath bomb kind of scent. Really good though, honestly, I think I've bought about 50 of these in my time and I'm not even joking, so one of my faves. I'm so oily, what is happening? Next up we have the Blow Me A Kiss Bubble Blower, which is 5 95 and I believe this is just a reusable bubble bar, so... Yeah, adorable. Looks so cute. What does that smell like? <sighs> that smells amazing. <laughs> this smells kind of like something I've eaten before. Maybe like a fruit salad. Does it smell like fruit salad or is that just me? I'm just checking the ingredients. The main ingredients is Divana oil and bergamot oil. So it is very fruity, but that legit smells like a fruit salad. So oh, amazing. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's so good. Oh, so nice. Next up we have the Naked Attraction Massage Bar. This one has a cute little bottom on it, which I thought was adorable, and this one did come out last year, I believe, as well. This has a very light floral vanilla scent. It's got Yasmin, Yasmin? Jasmine, and Ylang Ylang in it, so it's a really light scent, but it's also got loads of shea butter and cocoa butter, so it is very soft. But I love that one. This one is also £8, so I think that is just the general price for massage bars now but again super super oily and melty in my hands so I don't know whether they've changed the formula or what but like I'm just getting very oily now and I don't really know what to do about it so again I'm just gonna have to wipe that into my jeans which is really nice. Next up we have the Love Boat Bath Bomb which is £4.50 and oh that smells amazing again it smells very familiar though definitely have had that scent before but that smells so so nice it's got a cute little heart on the top and it's blue pink and it has some little confetti Heart on the bottom. Oh, that's so nice. Scent wise, this is lemon oil, rose oil, and sweet orange oil, which you can definitely smell. It's very fruity. Can't really smell the rose so much. It kind of just smells like, like love hearts to me, but that does smell really, really nice. So I love that and that is absolutely adorable. With this one, I think the whole idea is you place it in the water rather than just chuck it in and it kind of goes along like a boat, but I'll let you guys know what it's like when I use it. I'll definitely put up some stories and some photos and stuff over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on there, definitely do. It's always linked in the description, but oh, that's amazing. I love that, that's delicious. Next up is Tisty Tosty, which was £3.95, I believe. And this is definitely one we've had before. This used to be an all year round product when I worked there. However, they've given her a bit of a revamp and a bit of an uplift. I absolutely love the design. Smells exactly the same. Smells like a classic grandma, nan, older, mature woman kind of smell. Like very floral, very light. So delicious though. Ingredients wise, this one has Rose Absolute, Yasmin Absolute and Oris Root Powder. No idea what that is, but it smells amazing. And this one says, I choose to love and choose... Nope. I choose, this is so hard to read, I choose to love and accept myself as I am in this moment. That's so cute. I love that. Has this bit of hair been annoying anyone else? Because honestly, it's been doing my nutting 
for this whole video. Oh, that's so nice. Absolutely love that. The next item is the Heartbeat Bath Bomb. This one retails for $5.95. And this one smells like the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb we had a few years ago. It's a very light floral rose scent. Super nice, super delicate. And you've got three bath melts inside, which is so nice. And ingredients wise, this one has Rose Absolute, Rose Oil, Cocoa Butter and Geranium. Oil? Yes, oil. It's just really light and floral. It's a very nice scent if you like your floral scents. If you don't like floral scents, you will not like this one and you probably won't like a lot of the products here either, but that is really nice. Yeah, 10 out of 10, obsessed with that. And last but definitely not least is the Love Locket Bath Bomb. This is absolutely massive. This one retails for $7.95 and it has a black currant absolute cypress oil and bergamot oil in it, which is really nice, smells like the comforter. Oh my God, it's amazing. If you don't like the comforter, you won't like this one, but oh my god, that's heavenly. When I bought this one last time, it was when it used to be one whole, like, unit. Now you can actually take it apart, and it has little tiny bath bombs inside that you can use in a separate bath. So you could either get two, or one, or three baths out of this, which is really, really great. And that smells bloody lovely. Oh, amazing. 10 out of 10 would buy 20 of those in a heartbeat. So that is everything for this Lush haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you guys have bought from the range. If you're going to buy anything from the range. And if you think this range is worth the £70 that I spent on it. Which was my hard earned money may I add. So kind of heartbroken a little bit. I would have to say that my two favourites from this range. If we're not going to include the watermelon lip scrub. Which we shouldn't because it's not. Part of the Valentine's range is probably the bubble blower. I think that's really cool. And I also love the Love Locket because of the fragrance. It's just delicious. So yeah, I think those are my two favourites. So let me know down below what your favourites are. Also, please don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram. I'll be posting photos of all of these items. I'll do close-up photos so you guys can see them better. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. It would absolutely make my day. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye guys.